Minecraft Creeper Wig. Creepski. Oh, woman! Our queens! Do I look like Lewis is lower? Yeah, you bro. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Lads, I've got to go. See you later. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Be the last line of defense. Don't get people's mentality. Oh. I'm here. All right, so who's starting this then? Me. Like, I'm going to do my own intro, dog. Like, if you just want to... Ah! I'm going to go no. for the toilet. Ah! 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 <laughs> so, Theory Thursday, guys. <sighs> Should we just do this then, guys? Should we get this over with? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, lads, I've got to go. See you later. Smash like now yeah. or Freddy will <laughs> your toes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Leave a like if you want to see another episode. Yeah, yeah, do that yeah, one. That, that one's better. Yeah, okay. Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Hi there, my name is Freddy Razbear, and we have some breaking news! Could Jack Black, a cast member of the children's classic The Neverending Story Part 3, be in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach? Hold me! This is big news! In an unthinkable twist in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, Jackus Blackus TikTokness, this is. Roll the clip! Game review, review, review. Guys, I played the new uh, FNAF, and it's pretty good. Chilling. I don't mean the fact the guy's clearly wearing no clothes. Big respect! But this begs the question, where are his pants? No, seriously. Why, out of all the people in the entire world, has Jack Black played Security Breach. It just doesn't make any sense unless Jack Tenacious D. Black actually has a role in Security Breach. Huh? I mean, the man's multi-talented. He is a voice actor, he is an actor, and he does music. I can imagine Jack Black playing Montgomery the Crocodile and wailing out a glam rock number. Hopefully with some clothes on. Although, that's not all he's been TikToking. Five Nights at Freddy's That's where we wanna be Five Nights at Freddy's He's found his clothes. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I need them pants. Nah, tinfoil hat time, but I don't think it's a coincidence that Mr. Jack Black starts tweeting out and TikToking all this stuff about FNAF right after the huge reveal of Security Breach. I think they're both connected. He says he's played the game, he says he's enjoyed the game, he says it's a good game. He's got no reason to lie. But why has he played the game out of everyone in the world? Surely we'd give it to Matt Pat or Doco or Markiplier. Why Jack Black? So random unless he was involved in the game itself, unless he was a voice actor, unless he did a song. Because I know in FNAF VR they had a scrapped Showtime song that was actually really, really good. So maybe he's got a glam rock song, or maybe he's helped to write a glam rock song, because that's that's right in Jack's wheelhouse, that kind of music. Or maybe he's part of the film. But I think it's more likely that he's actually involved in the game itself, because it'll have been Steel Wool that's given him the copy. It's a lot to think about. And I don't know if you remember this, but earlier on, the year, Jack Black already revealed that he was a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan because he used Glitch Trap's head in some sort of Jimmy Kimmel live sketch, or he was on with him talking, and he was doing a funny little walk across the screen and dance. I absolutely love this man. He is so talented, so if he was involved with Steel Will and Scott on anything FNAF related, I would be all in. This is amazing, and it just shows you the extent that Five Nights at Freddy's has come over six years from an indie developer to FNAF being on the PS5 showcase and potentially having Jack- In fact, even if Jack Black's not involved, he's played it early. That's crazy. Please, just- just get him involved. This is brilliant. Speaking of cosplay, if this video right here gets 10,000 beautiful likes tonight, and yes, because I'm about to do something really embarrassing, the like goal has to be reached tonight. I will do the next Theory Thursday video with the boys dressed as Fur Daddy. Probably shouldn't have phrased it like that, but I will dress up as Foxy one final time. But the boys will see me in it as well, and I will also be on their channels dressed as it. And so it's going to be super awkward for me. So that's why you have to hit that like goal tonight. And it's a good job you ain't going to hit it, because that would be really embarrassing. Please don't embarrass me in front of Jack Black. The Security Breach trailer dropped a couple of days ago. A lot of people hyped. No. <laughs> the Security Breach has brought us back all together again. Finally. Uh, you know, so what are your first initial thoughts on the trailer? It's Theory Thursday. So, initial thoughts on the trailer, guys. Uh, uh, 
I think for me, it blew me away completely. More than just the name FNAF, what made me so happy was to see Five Nights at Freddy's like alongside all of these big AAA brand names. Like, it's crazy to think this game came from one single developer who was literally making a game every three months. And in six years time, he's now literally alongside Spider-Man, Resident Evil 8, like God of War, like crazy main house. I think that says enough of if PlayStation were prepared to give um, the, the game that Scott's making like priority alongside these, this game is good and we haven't seen near enough any of the good stuff. Like we've only been teased a tiny amount. PS5 straight after like, what was it? 1.5 million people watching it at that point in time. Yeah, yeah, it's watching yeah. FNAF crazy. And people are sitting there like, oh, FNAF's been dead. It's like, yeah. That's crazy. Hey, what what, what, what delusional mindset yeah, do you live in? Like, <laughs> Always comes back. Hey there, guys. Sorry to interrupt your Theory Thursday viewing. Hopefully you're enjoying it, even though it's a Monday and not a Thursday. But as always, we've got captions to do. In the previous episode, I asked you to caption this image right before your beautiful eyes. And this caption, this caption, and especially this comment really made me laugh. But mm, this next comment ruined my Theory Thursday. And my Jack Black day. Because this comment right here. Here, this comment right here is so despicable. I hope Jack Black comes to your house dressed as Glitch Trap and just, just sends you to your room in a peaceful manner because I'm sure he doesn't want to go to jail and lose his career. He might lose the FNAF job and, well, that's that's not worth this comment being that terrible. But it's it's a terrible comment. Be rest assured on that. If you would like to be featured in the next video, please caption this image right before your beautiful eyes make me laugh because I like to laugh and sometimes I go days without laughter. Back to Theory Thursday. My first initial thoughts are: What kind of game is, is it going to be? Is it going to be like? It looks like you're going to be able to free roam and it's walk around. It's got to be. Yeah. yeah. First person. Um, first person. I feel. It, just, it looks fantastic, and I'm really excited to see uh, where they go with it. If Sony have gave a steel wall a chance to showcase this on a playstation 5 live stream it's it's got to be good right yeah yeah no, oh and there was that insta post of jack black saying yeah. he's played it too or something yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah. So, and they they also said that everything we saw in the trailer was in game so yeah, that's exactly. how it's got like how yeah. how well, crazy well, man like, you know, like imagine that like walking around that like because we, all we get yeah. to do is do slow pans but like you're controlling someone in the graphics like that it's like yeah what the heck man it's oh you got. Um, you, you're cl you're exciting. clearly gonna. You, you got the Golden Freddy statue. That's where you're gonna start the game. It's gonna be bright. It's gonna be colorful. You're gonna be like, this is awesome. This is a place where kids come have pizza, enjoy a little glam rock show, and then the back, the stark contrast, because it just goes to gray and black, from neon, neon greens and pinks to to the black. It, it's it's, yeah. it's gonna look so good if it is free roam and you're not just stuck in the one area. Yeah. In the trailer, you actually see like the gift shop and the yeah. uh, restaurant close. So it's yeah. definitely just going to be like us in there exactly with the animatronics and uh vanessa how about this like it because i'm excited to see what like how the game will progress like as we know in like the all of the fnaf it's like night one fade yeah. night yeah. two fade i think it would be very interesting to see it as like uh you walk into one area that's when the level begins yeah. and then you have to complete that walk into yeah. another area i think that like a resident evil yeah. kind of thing where yeah, you, yeah. you have to complete one bit then you move on to the next. Oh, God, yeah. I think that'd be really all cool. One, I think it's all gonna. I be think it's one. Yeah, one yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. From the the way that camera was panning and the way it looks, I think it's just gonna be one night, and you one you've got to escape. Yeah. But something's gonna happen. All those neon lights are gonna go off, whether it's the power off or you get chased away by somebody. But it's. It, I reckon it's all one night, which is gonna be yeah, weird. Like yeah, because it's still called FNAF, which Five Nights at Freddy's. But yeah. I, I think it's gonna be maybe, one maybe night. Maybe I'll find a way to combine that. Like. You know, I, I was thinking back and I was looking at Scott Games. So we've the trailer basically focused on this Gregory character the whole time, mm -hmm. yeah. but they they put a teaser of a night guard. So yes. I, I'm the only thing I can think was maybe that before Gregory's happenings. What about if the night guard? You play the role as a night guard and see things go down a little bit before, like small things, because like we have that weird animatronic that's in the kitchen. I'm sure that's not meant to be there. And maybe yeah. that was put there a day before or something. Or, you know, this game isn't going to wrap up in one day. No, like in one night. There's going to be so much information that we need to get. The, the thing about the kid and Gregory could either be that we do have like moments where we play as Gregory and mm -hmm. we hide as the kid or there might be cut, like uh, cut scenes of it happening from the past. You know, wouldn't it be hilarious if after like everyone's hyping up to play as this Greg character? What about if legit that is the prequel, like the prelude, sorry, yeah. to the game? And Greg just dies. Just yeah. to start yeah, exactly. the game. That could like, be the start of the game. We're the night guard after. It's the thing with the night guard that has protect. Yeah. It's it. 
it suggests that you're playing as this night guard. Yeah, protecting the kids. I think. Mm-hmm. I think and and and, and that is scared. that is Five Nights at Freddy's. You are the night guard in, in, yeah, in the know. majority of them. Yeah, and in all of the uh, the art and for the game, it's the night guard in front of everything. So I think we are going to be playing as the night guard more than anybody. See you later, guys. That, that was good. <laughs> That's it. So we've spoke about the night guard and a little bit about Vanny, but now the question comes in as to who the voices we hear telling Gregory to be still. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. It doesn't quite sound like a human voice, and it doesn't sound like a female voice either, so what are we actually thinking here? It's, it's got to be one of the glam rock animatronics. The, the, there's literally zero evidence to suggest it could be anything other than the animatronics. You just got to think, is it going to be Montgomery, the, the crocodile Elton John looking like fella, or is it the Freddie Mercury, Freddie Fazbear glam rock sort of animatronic? I, I'm leaning more towards the Freddie, um, and, yeah. and that's purely because Kellen the voice yeah. actor for um, past Freddy's Funtime Freddy, he uh, tweeted out that exact line. I, 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 I think it's yeah, pretty much concrete yeah. at this yeah, point. It feels like he's putting the pieces together, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> even, even if we didn't have that, I think it, I, I would have still gone with Freddy. On his Instagram, he, he actually posted the voice, like the voice. Gregory, be still. I'm guessing these are all new characters, right? These are all yeah. like, they haven't been possessed by children as far as we know. No. So mm. what, there wouldn't be any evil entity. So are the animatronics in this game actually protecting you, uh, the character, well, and trying to defend you away from this bunny character? Or Well, that, it- that, that's actually a perfect segue onto the next segment if we want to keep on moving, boys. Are the animatronics good? So- that it's, it's, it's the perfect time because there has been a lot of speculation online from the community that these animatronics because of this line where the rockstar animatronic is talking about be still or the glam rock sorry yeah. not the rockstar um is saying be still so it kind of suggests that they are protecting this gregory fella so okay. and we already know as i'm sure lewis will fill us in, in in more detail in a second that the animatronics have never gone for kiddos it's always been adults they've targeted uh, uh <laughs> raz is right so y- you guys have got to remember that uh, um after fnaf 6 everything's done yeah okay so all the old animatronics everything has been burnt down to the ground obviously apart from glitch trap you yeah. know um but all the spirits of the other kids are gone they're, they're gone forever connection okay? terminated yeah it's all gone yeah take so, care of you. no other kids have been <gasps> moved and no other kids are possessing animatronics or anything now yeah. uh, the and uh, i think the uh, glam rock animatronics are good okay yeah. and think of the title security breach okay so yeah. the uh, glam rock animatronics are protecting the kids because vanessa has breached into the location or whatever, and he's going around trying to kill <gasps> kids. Yep. Okay, Vanessa and Glitchtrap, I think, are you know going to hack into the animatronics mm-hmm. and make them bad. Okay, like <laughs> that Moon Crescent animatronic in the kitchen with the red eyes. And I think okay. over time, uh, whether that's nights or whatever, I think all the glam rock animatronics are going to yep. be evil, yep. trying to kill the night guard because we're trying to stop Vanessa. Mm-hmm. So okay. she's going to. She, I think she's going to hack into the animatronics, breach, security breach, um, and try and get the an- uh, animatronics to. <gasps> okay, so this is a completely new character. Yeah, Vanessa is the protagonist in FNAF VR who rescues Glitchtrap from the game and hides hides him in a little plushie. So nobody's going to suspect that. A virus is going to be in a little plushie. Okay, yep. that's what we think. Uh, Vanessa manages to get Glitchtrap out. Uh, we think that it's the fact that Glitchtrap is now in Vanessa's mind, like um, the, the exchange. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and now Vanessa's in a Freddy Fazbear location more with Glitchtrap, trying to get Ooh. more kids. Basically, Glitchtrap's got a good way to like possess. Yeah, you yep. know, um, hack into technology animatronics and stuff like makes that. me that makes yeah. me think a lot about the the female voice we hear in the trailer when it's like i didn't mean to hurt anyone gregory i may have lost my temper earlier but it was just a glitch it won't happen again that could actually be one of because I, I i in my mind i've always been like oh it's the bunny and then i was like well if it's the bunny then why is the voice glitching but that could actually be um, the Chica character or the Foxy-like character already hacked. 
Yeah. Saying, and it might have been even one of the animatronics. Or, or do you not agree? I watched your face <laughs> cringe. Then uh, the, the, <laughs> yeah. the only reason I don't agree is the voice start. Right. The voice starts off as you see the Vanny character in the security. Yeah, that's what room. I mean. I I know that as well. The, I'm just trying to think. Why does it still sound slightly robotic? That's all. I think it's yeah. just. So it's the same voice actor as Vanessa in FNAF. VR as well. So right, well so that that was something I didn't know, obviously because of the voice filters and stuff. So it has to be Vanessa, right? But you're right. Yeah. You're right. Oh. You're right about the glitchy voice. Anytime she says it was just a glitch, it was just, just a glitch. <laughs> it only glitches when she says that, which is interesting. But if Freddy's trying to protect this kid, why does he sound so disappointed when he says, I think she saw us? Why can't he help this kid? I think she's found us. So you can physically hear the disappointment in this glam rock Freddy's voice. Why can't he help this kid? Maybe Vanessa's got some- I was just about to here, say, like maybe Vanessa's kind of like how in FNAF 2 they used to have the faces that would read criminals. He, They could have put her face as not a criminal, so he can't stop her. You know, it's like when you're in a yeah. dream and you try and punch someone, but you can't. At the end yeah. of, it could at, be the same at, thing. At the end of the day, he's still a machine, so there must be yeah. Some way to shut him down, like um, yeah, exactly. like William yeah. did to shut down the mall when he was yeah. dis did, uh, ugh, dismantling. It's the word I'm using. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's oh. probably that he can only do so much to help. So much, yeah. Right. So okay. Now, so now the FNAF is no longer spirits occupying these suits. It's a virus that's trying to make its way through the animatronics. Basically. Which I think is a cool concept. It's I really, really like it's, 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 It also brings the the game up to uh, the future, future. Well, yeah. not futuristic, no. but more present day than it was before. Because obviously it's chronological time order, as Lewis already said. Everything from FNAF six is done, it's solved, so you kind of have to keep going forward, and the only way to do that is via uh, a virus. Yeah. But now you need to ask yourself, um, why? Why are they Why are they trying to spread a virus through this new, obviously, that they're very popular animatronics. You can see in the the in the, in the um, pictures on Scott Games that they're very popular with the crowds, like yeah. with Glamrock Freddy and stuff. Why would they want to then go out their way to do that unless there's some kind of vendetta against the Fazbear entertainment industry. And that, I think to, that yeah. transitions, I think, to the final point, which is like whole Vanny's purpose, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, so. it, it doesn't it doesn't seem it, it seems more like she admires um, yes. um, um, William and maybe she's been around for a while. Uh, do we have an mm. age for her? It doesn't, I don't think it doesn't she'll be seem old. I feel like be. she's going to be a young adult. She, she seems very you know, impressionable either way. Yeah, people people right. get like that sometimes. Like Criminals do unspeakable actions, and to 99.999% .99 of people, it's a horrific thing. But some people develop this um, this obsession with the killers, and they yeah. almost feel remorse. And then some will also try and be like copycats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she hero worships him. She, she yeah. obviously agrees to some sort of degree, whatever reason that is, that she believes what he's doing is right. Yeah, exactly. Got to remember as well, like, Glitchtrap is behind the scenes influencing her as well. And we already so. know this guy is like a master manipulator and obviously very yeah. charismatic and smooth. Exactly, and uh, in the source code before anything, this was ages ago. Yes, we've talked about this. Conversation between them both saying, have you selected one? Yeah. Yes, I have. So that's Glitchtrap talking to Vanessa saying, have you selected a kid to do this? To, 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 do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Um, it, when you look at her suit as well, it's not very official at all. It's very like stitched together. She's made it herself. Yeah. Yes. So that's, that's like, you know, that shows that it's not, this isn't like a professional doing this. This is just someone who was like crazy inspired. Just how like people who are talented make cosplays and stuff. You know, it's like someone who's made this. And then it's like, maybe when they put this on, they feel like they're a different alter ego, this evil person or something. You know what I mean? You've literally just said the exact line that she says in FNAF VR. When she's talking to Glitchtrap in the plushie, she says, I've made it myself. Who is Vanessa? Vanessa is just somebody who play tested the game, got the game, um, and got saw Glitchtrap, and Vanessa got Glitchtrap out of the game. That's, we mm -hmm. know that 100%. Yeah. Okay. okay. And that, it leaves the questions there. If she got him out of the game, like, maybe would she have access to his code? Because imagine if there was more people like him out there with slightly modified alterations to their code. There could be. There could be loads of the the, the glitch trap around the world. He, yeah, if he's I'm, if he's I'm, a virus. I'm, like, I'm crossing my fingers. I hope Scott keeps running with this. I don't want him to wrap this new fantastical story up in one game. I feel like this this is like the beginning of a whole new saga for FNAF. For a company that was associated with children being missing and stuff, and you know, how would they get from 
that to megastar like well you, you hear about yeah. tape girl don't you tape girl says about you know they sent them stuff and then there was emails from fazbear entertainment within those and it was all yeah. suspect stuff they, but they, the whole basis of the fnaf vr is to sweep stuff under the rug yeah that's yeah. exactly oh, what they okay. to do that's why fazbear entertainment made fnaf vr yeah commercialized it wasn't yeah, it you know make money from it and that's that's okay. how they that's how I don't know how they make a mall from sales from a game, but that's that must have been like, that goes to show that yeah, but a, a VR would be probably only one tangent to even make the VR. Clearly, they would have had something going on in the yeah, back. They have merchandise and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, the special delivery as well that takes place after FNAF VR mm. um, as well, apparently, because Vanessa's in. Do you know Vanessa's in the emails in FNAF VR? Yeah. Yeah, I have um, seen that. Yeah, yeah. So it hasn't gone anywhere, but Vanessa is there uh, behind the scenes. So maybe it's just more context for that character, but you don't yeah, need to know. Yeah, it yet. basically means that Vanessa's more important than we think. Uh, you know, I, I don't think she's just a, a tester of the game. I think she's mm. someone in the company as well. Mm -hmm. Do you think Vanessa is going to kill <gasps> a kid? I think she may have already done it. Okay, so you know what happens when you kill <gasps> kids. Releases a soul and remnant and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, so. exactly. So, yeah. do you think that's going to happen? Well, well maybe because that. you know, there's yeah. so many. We only spoke about a few things, even though we got so into it. But there's there's a lot with that trailer. Like, what's with that big vat tank at the back? What's going on there? Well, well like, oh, quickly, it, quickly before yeah, we move you know. on, and we're talking about the soul being released. Yeah. Freddy talks like yeah, like, like he and he's so put and, it, and it's live, and and know? it's not just a security protocol. ABC mm, kid need to protect. It is literally. I got to protect you. You said you said you detected sadness in his voice. That that that's not just AI at that point, surely. Mm, yeah, mm. I, I I think well, that it, uh, it's hard to know. But yeah, yeah it's hard to know. As well, this is very futuristic. Okay, mm. and they, they were testing this like in 1987, which was well ahead of its time anyway. Yeah, with with the sister location animatronics, because Bayer yeah, right. book, like she's a human as well. Right, mm. so maybe. Suppose. Maybe Vanessa is carrying on from William left off, if you yeah. know what I mean. Because he was yeah. trying to collect remnant. I don't know what. Do we know why he was doing that? Is it to like uh, build like something big, like like a bigger? Uh, he was exper. Well, f first he was just experimenting with remnant and seeing what he could do with it. And yeah. then uh, he obviously got obsessed, like continuing to do mm, it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe she's just continuing where he left off, basically. And well, she got him out of the thing. game, so you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's he, he, he's the he's a puppet master. He hasn't got hands and limbs to actually go and do the stuff himself. So he needs somebody else to yeah. do it for him. She's just a vessel, essentially, without him being exactly. actually inside her. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is William Afton is still alive in the form of a virus, right? He is the virus, or is that wrong? Yeah. yeah. So. They what happened is um, they they scanned Springtrap's remains. So they okay. scanned a bunch of animatronic remains because in the game, if you scan a chip, their information gets put into FNAF VR to make the game better uh, from experiences mm -hmm. and stuff. Yep. They scan Springtrap's. It has the virus in it. And that that mm. virus gets put into FNAF VR, and that's glitch trap. So like the past, that's why he's that's why he's the original mascot costume because yeah. it's like and the, then, the dark past of what's happened. Because here's what I'm thinking: what if what if Vanny is actually just William a Afton? I do think glitch trap's definitely in her uh, uh, as something. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't yeah. see why glitch trap would possess her when she already wants to do the things. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. okay. it's, okay, okay, like, yeah. it's more of like a two thing, and I kind yeah. of want it to be a two thing anyway. Yes, same, same. It makes it, again, it puts maybe it, yeah William Afton on the spotlight, and I want Vanessa to be the main like person in this game. Well, maybe yeah. that's what they're doing. Vanessa is trying to build up enough remnant, and maybe he wants his virus consciousness or whatever in this massive thing that they're going to be building yeah. through the remnant if I, you know what I mean so we can yeah. actually take control yeah exactly i think i think that i think vanessa's trying to restore gl glitch trap uh into yeah. like a real thing bringing like him in the, yeah exactly like just to <laughs> your face. <laughs> yeah yeah She's trying to bring back Glitch Trap as well at the same yeah, okay. time, and uh, maybe Remnant can do that. Maybe Remnant can do something to bring him back. Well, that was fun, wasn't it, guys? No, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what what sort of pressing questions do you guys still think about that we haven't spoken about yet? People seem to have seen hidden animatronics yeah. in the background of yeah. the trailer. And we didn't really talk about Moon Boy. And there's, there's the, um, the, just the entire location itself. We didn't really discuss much. Obviously, you've got the huge laser tag 
area, which yeah. is which is a huge maze. So yeah. uh, that, that there's loads of discussion, and then the environment itself. And if it was to be free roam, from the screenshots we've seen, there's this huge potential. It, it's mm. definitely free roam. It's got to be. Also, yeah. uh, we can talk about um, other things as well. Replayability of the game. Yeah. Uh, multiplayer rumors. Different endings. Secret, ooh, secret endings. Game. Night six. However, that would work. Yeah. Will that be? You know, who knows? Really, who knows? Yeah. Potential. Potential redemption yeah. of uh, Vanny, if that's possible. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You already know they're gonna do weird things like you have to press, you have to see something, and press it, and then a door opens and like six. <laughs> you know, oh, they, you know the, they're gonna yeah. do weird crap like that. There's, there's yeah. gonna be the normal ending, and then there's gonna be the tickle Freddy's left toe, and yeah. it opens up, yeah. it, uh, opens up a back <laughs> passage to enter. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even remember the last time we all got together and did a theory Thursday. It was sister location before the game even came out. So. Wow, four years, three years, something like that. It's absolutely insane. It's amazing to get together with the boys and theorize. We've been doing it over Discord and stuff ourselves, but to get together and properly do it for a video, it really was something special. Hey, and if you enjoy it, let me know down in the comment section below if you want more of the Theory Thursday and the video gets enough support, then yeah. We'll be, we'll be happy to do it. In fact, give us questions down in the comment section below of things you would like us to discuss in the next video. But either way, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I've been Raspberry. You've been the beautiful Raspberries, as always, for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye. Five nights at Freddy's. That's where I want to be. Five nights at Freddy's.